Read with Val. Read on, have fun, and dream big. Hi, everyone. My name is Val Laurie. Have you ever felt the need to keep a secret because of your religion? In this book, Baraka Beats by Maliha Siddiqui, the main character really struggles from keeping a secret. This book is a realistic fiction book and I would write this book a 10 out of 10. The main character in this book is Nimra. Nimra is a hardworking girl that can do anything she puts her mind to. And a scenario, a big scenario in that is um, she finishes the Heaps, which is a religious textbook um, that is believed by Muslims. And she finishes it, she finishes reciting it. So um, she moves to a quote unquote regular school, a public school. She used to go to an Islamic school, but since she finished uh, reciting and memorizing the Heaps, uh, she moved to a public school. Now, she doesn't really like the idea of moving to a public school because her old school felt like her, basically her home. But Nimra always thought it'd be okay because her best friend in the whole entire world, Jenna, goes to that school. So she says it's fine for her to go. When she gets there, Nimra finds out that Jenna is, Jenna is kind of ignoring um, Nimra and she hangs out with her own people at school. So Nimra has to find other friends. In a mistake, an incident, um, she finds herself associating, talking with uh, a really, really popular boy band, an eighth grade boy band called Baraka Beats. And they're really, really popular. So, uh, and they ask Nimra to join uh, them. And so Nimra's plan is since they're very, very popular, she joined them and then, uh, Jenna would want to be friends with her again because she's she joined a very popular boy band. And then she'd quietly drop out of Baraka Beats. This is harder than she thinks. Um, number one, she in uh, she was raised that music is out of the question, like it's kind of bad for you and so joining a band isn't you know the ideal situation so she has to hide that from her parents and then also she hides the fact that um hides the fact that she wants she joins the band just because she wants to be friends with jen again and it's harder to leave than Nimra thinks because she grows like she really loves the whole entire band. Um, in the band, there are three other boys and um, there's Matthew, Walid, and um, Bilal. And so it's very hard for her to leave um, her friends there. And it becomes even harder when the band decides to join a um a contest and like sort of like a concert um it's a concert to help raise money for refugees but the point is that Nimra is never gonna go to the concert without her parents knowing that she's gonna perform so it's either that she disappoints her parents or do she disappoints the band read on to find out what happens to Nimra and what she decides my favorite character in this book is Nimra like I said before she is a strong girl and I think
think because she has to just balance so many things and juggle so many things, she really has to step up like her her game. Um, and it's bad keeping secrets from her family and her friends. Um, but in this case, Nimra is such a, an amazing person and she is super duper fun to read about. I'll recommend this book to kids between the ages eight through 12. This book is an amazing, amazing book. I learned uh, some Muslim sort of traditions and uh, it's a very, very, very heartwarming book. Thank you to Aldoise and also Scholastic for bringing me this book. I hope everyone enjoys it. Remember to read on, have fun, and dream big. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!